Hi Taurus, this is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot and I am about to do a reading for your sign today. If you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, this reading may resonate with you or it may not. If it resonates with you, that's awesome. That means that the divine is speaking directly to you through these cards today. If it doesn't resonate with you, one of two things, either it's just simply not for you, but rest assured it is for somebody today, or you need to watch your other signs. There's a link in the box below that will take you to a website where you can find out what your sun sign is, which today is Taurus, what your rising sign, your moon sign, and your Venus sign is. Your sun sign is how you receive information from the world. Your moon sign is how you process that information, and your ascending sign or your rising sign is how you spit it back out into the world. Your Venus sign is how you give and receive love. So if this doesn't resonate with you, check the other signs, cross-watch those readings, um, and uh, if it resonates, great. If it doesn't, then, um, you know, it's just not for you today. What else? Yes, uh, thank you to everybody who has hit me up for personal readings. I am literally um, just amazed, amazed at the response that I've had for personal readings. And for 40 bucks, we can hook you up just like this, just for you just for your situation. You can go to TaurusStarTarot.com. You can book and schedule a reading literally effortlessly online and myself and the cards will show up and we will do this just for you, just for your situation, okay? All right, all of that being said, let's get to the point. We open up this reading with you in the hangman energy. You're really, really thinking hard about something, right? You are, you're pausing for a minute. You're surrendering to the feelings and emotions and thoughts that you have about this particular situation. You're going to let go of that and you're going to come out on the other side with a new perspective, a decision, right? This decision that you're going to come out with um, has to do with the, the death card, right? This is the card of Scorpio. This has to do with an ending and a change in your life. So you are in the hangman mode, really thinking hard about an ending and a change in your life, a transformation from where you were to where you want to go. This transformation, my friend, is in regard to the lover's card. This is the card of Gemini. It may mean something, it may not. This transition, this ending, this change that you want in your life is about creating harmony and values alignment in your life. It's not about love, okay? This is not, I'm going to tell you right now, this is not a love reading. This might be associated to love, but this is a life reading. This is just, this is a life reading. You can put this in the pocket of love. You can put this in the pocket of finance, but all in all, this is an overall life reading for Taurus today, okay? So this change that you want to make, this transition in your life, is in regards to the lover's card. This card is about love, yes, but it's also about harmony, relationships, value alignments, and choices in your life. And it's about self-love as well. So this change, this transformation that you're going to make in regards to having harmony in your life, in your relationships, values alignments, right? This, this, you have sat with this for a good long minute, a good long minute, back in the hangman mode, and, and you're still rolling it around, right? Even though you made the decision that you are going to have change and transformation in your life in regards to value alignments and, and choices and relationships in your life, this high priestess comes in and tells me that you are really, you're taking this very, very seriously. The high priestess is all about our intuition, right? Our, our subconscious mind sacred knowledge and that sacred knowledge is is that we know that we know that we know because we've had a sit down with our intuition it's extremely important not to make cerebral decisions over intuition decisions head over heart or heart over head it's important to bring the both of them together and make a decision with your source given ability to use your intuition to help your head your cerebral intellect to make the right decision and you come together in the middle and that's the right decision and that's what you're doing right here with the high priestess you're double checking 
each and every little checkbox that you have, right? And you're making sure that this is the direction that you want to go. You have manifested this for a long time now. Whatever this change in your life is, whatever this transition is in your life, you've been manifesting it. And manifesting is thrown around fast and loose sometimes. I want to address that real quick. Manifestation is an extremely powerful tool. It's an extremely powerful tool, just like the high priestess is, that is given to us by source that a lot of people really don't understand. And I'm not going to give you a big lesson on manifestation today, but I would advise that you that you go look that up and make sure that you understand what the term manifestation means. You are what you eat, you become what you think, right? You have been thinking this, pulling this towards you, and becoming this for a good minute now. Followed by the Queen of Swords tells me that you are about to execute this decision in your life. This decision to tra change and transform, you're about to execute it. And the Prince of Sword co Swords comes in, and this is an action, an action-oriented card, right? This is um, the uh, the the Knight of Swords in the regular tarot. I'm using the Tarot Illuminati, by the way. It's a new deck. It's beautiful. I love it. So anyway, the Prince of Swords is the Knight of Swords, right? This is an an action-oriented communication. You are telling, you are sharing with whomever it is in your life that needs to know that you are moving on, you are changing and you are transitioning into a different phase of your life. You are sharing this communication. You are sharing this communication, action-oriented communication, right? The communication that you're sharing is about the action that you are taking to change and transform your life. This causes a tower moment. This causes a tower moment in your life. This is um, sudden change, upheaval, chaos, right? Could be a revelation or an awakening. So this tower moment that this communication creates in your life brings a lot of conflict with the Five of Wands. A lot of conflict. Um, it seems that maybe everybody's not on board with you. Um, everybody doesn't agree with your decision, right? There's a little bit of strife and tension and conflict surrounding the communication that you put out about your decision to change your life. It creates some conflict, right? The Eight of Wands comes in and says that this decision right here is going to happen swift, right? The Eight of Wands is about speed, action, movement, swift change, and travel most most um, um, specifically air travel, but nevertheless travel in general. Towards the Three of Pentacles, which is teamwork and collaboration, into a situation where you feel some, to some type of fulfillment when it comes to who it is that you are um, coming together to, to work with or to, or to have around in your daily life, right? I need to ask a clarifying question real quick. So y'all just bear with me. Is that candle on? <laughs> okay, good. Burn up my cards. Um, let me ask a, qu a clarifying question real quick. <laughs> Look, the tarot spit that out before I even had a chance to ask for it. I was going to ask, what is, the, what is the clarifying for the tower? The, t the clarifying card is judgment, right? A decision that you have made, a decision that you have made to change and transform your life. That is the tower moment. This is what causes sudden change chaos, upheaval in your life. And it doesn't have to be chaos, but I really, really feel intuitively it's going to be sudden change for you. And the people around you, it, it causes conflict for the people around you and, and, and they don't really know how to, how to handle it because Taurus, you know, is a slow moving individual. We don't really do anything until it's well, 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 well thought through. And when we pull the trigger on a decision, particularly if it involves swift change of some sort, it kind of freaks everybody out around us, particularly if you have other earth energy that you share your life with, right? 
because this has been up in our head, right? This, this hasn't been implemented until now. Now it's being implemented and it causes, I think, chaos around the people in your life and upheaval for the people in your life because this is sudden change for you, right? But this sudden change, you feel really good about. You feel like this is a, a decision that um, is in your best interest, Taurus. This is a decision that's in your best interest. This is a card about celebration and friendship and creativity and community, right? Um, you, you very well may be looking to move. Um, is there, there, regardless, there is some kind of huge change happening here that causes conflict for the people around you. Swift change says it's going to happen fast. And it is um, specifically in regards to who it is that, that, you, that you have in your life, right? Who it is that is um, sharing in your life. Go away. Sorry, phone call. Um, okay. So, this conflict, the swift change, the Three of Pentacles over there. This is all in regards to some kind of a very, very important commitment in your life. In regards to a very important commitment in your life. And, and you, have, you have contemplated and reevaluated how this important commitment is going to affect you and everybody around you. This commitment that you're, that, that, that you're moving into, this change and this transition in your life into this commitment. Now this commitment can be work, it can be um, a relationship, it can be um, anything, right? The Hierophant stands for our religious beliefs, social conformity, traditions, institutions, whatever it is, it's going to require a commitment from you. And you've contemplated and thought about this for a good long minute. This Ace of Pentacles comes in and says that you see this commitment as the manifestation, again, that word manifestation, as the manifestation of a brand new financial opportunity for you. And if it's not financial, it's the manifestation of a brand new prosperous opportunity for you. Okay, let's go with that. A brand new prosperous opportunity for you. This brand new prosperous opportunity brings you to the star card. This is a card about having hope, faith, purpose, renewal, and spirituality in your life. This is the card of Aquarius. It may mean something, it may not. Um, and the Hierophant is the card of Taurus, by the way. This is you in your own reading, the card of Taurus. What do we have over here? Um, the Tower, right? This is an, an Aries energy right there. Death, this card of Scorpio, like I said. The Hangman, that's the card of, of Pisces. Um, and the only reason I'm pointing out these signs is because you may be, be able to identify, right? Right. Just for instance, maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio. Maybe your new boss is a Scorpio. Maybe whatever situation that you're changing and transforming into has to do with a Scorpio. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it has to do with an Aquarius, okay? I put out a really good video called Tarot 101, How to Understand Your Tarot Reading and How the Zodiac Signs are Associated with It. If you really want to know, you can go watch that video and it will explain a lot to you but for those of you who are interested in the signs there you go that's what we have on the board so far as far as major arcana go okay so the star card this this prosperous new opportunity that you've been manifesting brings you the star card this is a card about having hope that there is purpose in our life having hope that our faith has brought us what we have been asking for, having hope that there is renewal on the horizon. It's having faith that there's hope. It's having faith that there's purpose, right? And it's finding purpose in renewal. It's finding purpose in your hope and in your faith. This is a beautiful card. That hope, faith, purpose, and renewal brings you the Ace of Wands, it brings you an inspired, 
powerful, creative new beginning in your life with a ton of potential. The ton of potential to bring to you the Ten of Pentacles. This is a golden opportunity. A golden opportunity to build wealth, to build family, to build establishment in your life. It's a golden opportunity. This Two of Pentacles comes in and says it's going to create balance and stability in your life. It's going to create balance, stability, and priorities along with a little bit of adaptability. This card is saying that this decision that you're making, that you're executing, that you're going forward with is going to require just a minute to get your sea legs about you, right? It's going to require just a minute to get your balance, okay? But it's also going to bring you balance and stability in your life. What comes next is the King of Wands. This King of Wands is a badass, right? This is, this is, I do believe, you presenting in your reading again. And I know you're an earth energy, right? But we all take on fire energy. If you have any passion at all, if you have any kind of fire in your soul, you are taking on fire energy with the King of Wands right there, right? may have fire in your chart. Who knows? Don't have to. So this is you presenting as a badass. This guy is a natural born leader, right? He's a visionary. He's an entrepreneur. He, 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 he knows that he knows that he is making the right decisions in his life. This King of Wands right here is crossed by the Five of Swords, which is odd, right? You know that you know that you know, but the Five of Swords is about conflict, tension, loss, defeat, win at all costs, and betrayal. However, this Five of Swords is also about being open to change, right? So this Five of Swords is about being open to change for you as that King of Wands, right? Sitting there as a badass, knowing that you know that you know, and being open to change in your life. Absolutely being open to change in your life. Look, the Two of Cups, being open to change in regards to partnerships and relationships, right? Whatever this change, this transformation up here is, could be about love, and it could be you being open to new things, new love, new partnerships, new relationships. But if this is just a general life reading or a career reading for that matter, put it where it resonates for you. This Five of Swords is about you being open to change in regards to who and what it is that you share your life with on the daily. What comes next is the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is a card about, about um, isolation, insecurity, worry about your financial situation. It's a card about being left out in the cold. You know, it's a card about worrying about being left out in the cold. But you got the Four of Pentacles right on top of it saying that, that this opportunity over here is going to bring you control, stability, and security in your life. It's going to bring you control, stability, and security. So for just a minute, just a minute, you know, these are all processes, right? These are mental and emotional processes that we're going through. Each and every one of these cards is a mental and emotional process that we're going through. So just for a minute, you're going to look back on this decision that you've made to change and transform your life and you're going to feel insecure for just a minute. You're going to feel real insecure about the um, about being left out in the cold, right? About um, um, financial loss, about, about, you know, poverty. But the Four of Pentacles comes in and says control, stability, and security. And this is the mental clarity that you are going to come to as you're processing all of this. You're going to come to a mental breakthrough and have mental clarity that is going to eliminate your worries about financial loss or being left out in the cold. 
what we have next is the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords tells us that you, my Taurus, are at a crossroads, right? You're at a crossroads. And, and you, you have to make a decision. You, you have to absolutely make a decision about what path you're going to take, right? You have choices. You have choices. The Ten of Wands comes in and says that you, you, you feel like this is a burden. You do feel like it's a burden. It's a responsibility, right? It's hard work and stress. But this new opportunity that you have, it might be a burden and a responsibility to make the choice to move forward. But there is accomplishment at the end of this journey. There is accomplishment for you at the end of this journey. You're not carrying this burden for no reason. You're not carrying this responsibility, this load of responsibility for no reason. You're carrying it because you have vision. Remember the King of Wands, you have vision. And and you're, you, you know why you're doing this. Why are you doing this? Why are you carrying this burden and this responsibility? Because you've been waiting. You have been sowing seeds in your life. And you are looking to the future to reap profit and reward for the investment that you're making. The investment that you're making is, is carrying a heavy load with these new beginnings, with this Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles, these new beginnings, you're trying to make it happen. You're trying to turn it over with the King of Wands right there. You're trying to be successful in your life. The Seven of Pentacles says that you understand that, that a burden of responsibility is upon you, but that you have accomplishment at the end. Why are you carrying this burden? Because you have sown seeds. You've been waiting for this opportunity to present itself to you. And now that it's here, you're willing to put in the investment that is needed in order to see profit and reward from your struggle. The Queen of Pentacles, perfect. This is you as a Taurus, right? King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. It's you as a Taurus. I mean, she she has, it could be Capricorn as well, honestly. It could be Capricorn as well. But because this is a Taurus reading, this is the Queen of Pentacles, this is the Taurus, right? Practical, homey, motherly, down to earth, grounded, represents security. This is saying that this investment that you are more than willing to carry a heavy load of responsibility to achieve is going to bring you security in your bread basket, right? In your home, in your family, in that, in that place that means the most to Taurus. It's going to bring you security in that, in that, that place. Well, how can I, y'all Tauruses know what I'm talking about. When security is in that place right there, we are happy, so happy, right? Our bread basket, our home, our hearth, the, the, our, our environment, right? Right? So this investment that you're working real hard to bring to fruition is going to bring you an immense amount of satisfaction and security. With the Queen of, Queen of Wands on top of it, um, exemplifying determination, right? Absolute determination to make this happen. Seven of Cups comes in, and, and this is a card about fantasy, illusion, wishful thinking, choices, feeling a little confused, right? Feeling a little confused. Let me think about this for a minute. I think you are so determined to make this a successful, what is that? To make this a successful endeavor for yourself that you want, you, sometimes you feel like it's wishful thinking, right? Sometimes you feel like it's wishful thinking because up until the, up until your decision to actually do this up here, 
um, the hangman proves it right there. You have been up in your head thinking about this, and you can't help but to have that little twinge of thought in the back of your mind that says, man, I sure do hope all this shit works out, because <laughs> if it doesn't, if it doesn't, I've made a huge mistake in my life. I really hope all of this is going to work out for me. And the King of Cups comes in. Remember, these are emotional and mental processes. This King of Cup comes, Cups comes in on top of that and brings you emotional balance and control. It brings you emotional security, right? It, 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 you just know that you know that you know that this is the right decision for you right here. How do you know that you know that you know? Because the world card comes in and says you are integrating all of these thought processes, all of these emotional processes, all of it. You are integrating all of it in order to, to have a completion of one cycle and the beginning of a new cycle, right? This card also stands for travel, just like that Eight of Wands does. Just saying. Put it where it goes, right? So you are integrating. You're giving it one last, one last uh, uh, doubt, <laughs> right? You're giving it one last doubt right there. Then the World card comes in and says, nah, nah. It's a completion of one life cycle and the beginning of a life cycle. And you know this. You know this. You just want to make sure that you're on the right track. A completion of one life cycle, the beginning of a new life cycle. The emperor comes in. This emperor is about, number one, it's the card of Aries. Number two, it is about, um, it's about authority and control, establishment and structure in our life. So you are ending one life cycle and beginning a new life cycle that is filled with authority, control, structure, establishment of your life. Crossed by the four of wands, celebration, harmony, home, marriage, community, right? Don't get all, don't get all freaked out, marriage. It, you could be, you know, it doesn't even have to be marriage. It's, it's, it's all or some or none. It's about celebration. It's about harmony in your life. It's about harmony in your home. It's about harmony in your community, where you stand in the grand scheme of things. And it's about harmony in your marriage, if you're married. If you're not married, throw it away. Toss it out. No worries. The Four of Swords comes in and says, after this life cycle, after this changeover, after this change, this transition in your life, after this sudden change, you can rest. Ah, rest, right? Recuperation, healing, and rest. The Fool comes in and says, it's, uh, it's, it's healing and rest before this brand new beginning and this brand new journey starts for you. Brand new beginning, brand new journey with the Fool card. Eight of Pentacles comes in. This is a card about work. This is a card about apprenticeship, about education, about quality of work, about engaging with other people to work, to work it out, to work on it, trying to gain mastery, right? I mean, this guy, this guy's pounded out seven pentacles already. He's pounding out an eighth one right now. He's totally content. He's focused, right? This card is about, is about how you make your pentacles and who you engage with and how you gain mastery of your skill set. That's what this new journey is about. That's what, look Taurus, that's what you've been thinking about. That's what this, this ending, this change, this transformation in your life is about. This is the decision that you've made. This is what you've been manifesting in your life with the alchemist, the magician. This is what the lover's card is about. It's about harmony in your life. This is what this tower card is about. This tower card is, is, about, is about this decision that you've made with the judgment card to 
take a new journey and have a new beginning in your life with the eight of pentacles the eight of pentacles comes in and says that this new journey this new beginning that you're taking is all about engaging working trying to gain mastery of the way that you make your pentacles wow it's a financial reading after all i'll be doggone what comes after this is strength right you're going to need some strength you are absolutely going to need some strength this is a huge turning point in your life snickers stop lay down sorry my dog is wanting out and i can't get up and let him out right now so snickers is his name he's a schnauzer he's as cute as can be but he's a stubborn little guy <laughs> he's a virgo by the way <laughs> so strength comes in strength comes in and says that you have to be strong during this not only is this card about being strong but I want you to look really closely this is a woman a girl actually with a lion and she is petting on this lion like he's a house cat and he is letting her pet on him like he's a house cat this card is about trust okay yeah it's about having strength and courage but it's about trust. The root of this card is trust. And this card is saying to trust yourself. Trust that you've made the right decision. Trust that you're on the right path. Have the courage and the strength to trust yourself, Taurus. The chariot comes in. Chariot comes in. This is a card of action. This card says that you have the control the willpower, the determination to take the action needed in order to secure your success. Judgment comes in. Judgment is about decisions, right? We can make a decision in our head and roll it around in our head in the hangman mode till the cows come home. But until we actually execute a decision, it's absolutely meaningless. Once we execute a decision, it changes the trajectory of our life, which creates a rebirth inside of us because we're no longer doing what we used to do. We've made a decision. We've executed a decision to do something differently. And that's what this card is about. This card, on top of having the determination to get what you want, this card is about executing executing the decisions to get what you want hermit card comes in and says you have thought about this for a good long minute here you are up here contemplating it you're giving it another thought down here just to make sure that you're on the right path you've sat down with the high priestess you have really really thought about this decision a lot and that's what the hermit card is saying, that this is not a light decision for you. The Ten of Swords comes in and says there is an absolute inevitable end to your struggle. There is an inevitable end to your struggle, Taurus. An absolute inevitable end. That is an a beautiful reading we're at 30 minutes right now if you got the gist of it you can go ahead and click off right now but I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go through some more of this reading so if you got the gist of it that's awesome you can click off and that was your reading my friends and it's a beautiful reading be strong hang in there and do what you need to do to make your dreams come true in your life now, for those of you that are, that are sticking around with me, we're going to go over this again real quick, okay? Real quick. I want to point out something, that this little storyline fell out when I was shuffling, right? And it's a lot of cards, but it is a storyline, and I think it's a sidebar. I think it's a side note. It's like, it's like the, the cards just kind of put in a little something else out there, okay? So what I want to point out here. And this is like a little mini reading inside of a reading. So we have the Two of Cups, right? Two of Cups is um, a unified, unified love, partnership, relationships, right? Relationships that have been riddled with um, betrayal, deception, shady behavior, right? Betrayal, deception, and shady behavior. With the King of Swords coming in, you're cutting that shit out of your life. 
you're breaking free, you are cutting that out of your life. The Princess of Wands comes in and says, when you cut this shady relationship out of your life, you are filled with just a sense of enthusiasm, of, of just a free spirit. It frees you, right? The Princess of Swords comes in and says, you are speaking your truth. You are, you are absolutely, you're cutting out the bullshit with this relationship that you're in. Remember, this is a side note, okay? And it could be somehow attached to this reading with death and change and transformation and all of that good stuff. This is just a side note that the cards want to point out to you. So you are, um, you are, um, you're speaking your truth about this, right? And you're, you're cutting it out. You're speaking your truth about the broken heart that came from all of this. And you're healing your broken heart, right? By speaking about your broken heart, you are healing your broken heart. The Two of Wands comes in and says, plan for your future. Plan for your future. You have planning to do. You have decisions to make. You have discovery to do. Who, what, where, when, why, and how am I going to make this happen in my life, right? The Princess of Cups comes in. She is a messenger of a creative new beginning of synchronicity in your life. Synchronicity in your life that is going to bring your wishes fulfilled to you. It's going to bring comfort, happiness, and satisfaction to your life. The Six of Cups, this comfort, this happiness, this satisfaction um, has to do with something from your past. Maybe you're going home. Maybe you're going to visit somebody from, from home. This is a card about memories, right? And nostalgia, something to do with home. Could it be reuniting and reconciling with somebody? It could be. It could be. It could be in regards to love. It could be in regards to anything else. But the point is, is that, is that you have a, a new beginning in your life. And it's, it's going to bring you synchronicity. And it's going to help you achieve your wishes. It's going to help you achieve your wishes. And somehow, some way, something from your past is attached to this. Could be a loan that you go get from the bank. Your loan officer looks like Uncle Joe. Could be that simple. It could be going home. It could be reuniting with relatives. It could be reuniting with anybody from your past. Anybody from your past. Okay? But this, with the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups, this synchronicity, this, this new beginning that you have in your life is going to bring you harmony. And I want to point out, harmony has been a huge, huge energy in this reading today. Harmony, 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 finding harmony in your life. This Ten of Cups is going to bring you harmony and happiness in your life with the justice card on top of it. This justice card is all about, there can't be justice without an injustice, right? So some sort of injustice that you have been dealt in this relationship right here that has been nothing but shady bullshit. This injustice in this, in this bullshit relationship, you're going to get your justice. You are going to get fairness, truth, cause and effect, and karmic law applied to this situation. And me, personally, I think this karmic law is you getting all of this beautiful return from the universe. Beautiful return from the universe because you cut this shady bastard out of your life or bastress. <laughs> you cut it out of your life. And the universe, this is a karmic relationship. This is a karmic cycle and you have come to realize it to be such and you cut it out of your life and the universe down just everything you could possibly want because you have been cognizant and you have been aware and you have been listening to what source is telling you and you cut that bullshit out of your life. Okay, that was your side note right there. Now let's go on to... 
I just want to talk about the signs real quick because I know all y'all like to hear about the signs from time to time and I didn't do it in my last reading and I'm not focusing on it okay but here we have Scorpio we have Scorpio we have um, um, Gemini we have Aries energy with the tower we have Mars energy with um, with uh, I'm sorry fire energy with judgment we have we have Aquarius energy with the star we have Taurus your card right there Taurus energy with the Hierophant we have earth energy with the world we have water energy no air energy with the fool air energy with the fool Aries with the Emperor Leo with the strength card ah, what is the chariot cancer cancer energy with the chariot judgment is fire energy the hermit is Virgo so we've got we got pretty much we have all the energies on the board here okay so if you're looking for specific signs we have water we have air we have lots of earth energy and we have um, fire energy all over the board and that my friend is is your reading so I do hope that you enjoyed it and if there's anything that I can do for you you can hit me up at TaurusStarTarot.com um, 40 bucks will hook you up just like this just for your situation namaste my friends